Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem from the University Examination Question Paper of QSAT 2021 April. QSAT 2021 April, last year. 2021 April. The question reads like this. A triangular prism is resting on HP on its base. A triangular prism is resting on HP on its base such that the section in front view is an equilateral triangle of 40 mm side. A triangular prism, no dimensions are given. A triangular prism is resting on HP on its base such that the front view such that the section in front view the sectional view in the front elevation section in front view is an equilateral triangle of 40 mm side draw the projections if one side of the triangle is parallel to xy line one side of that equilateral triangle whichever they mention draw the projections when one side of the triangle is parallel to xy line also find out the angle of the cutting plane with hp Also find out the angle of the cutting plane with HP. The dimensions of the triangular prism are not given. The dimensions of the triangular prism are not given. The sectional elevation, the sectional elevation or the elevation of the cut section is an equilateral triangle. Elevation of the cut section is an equilateral triangle. Now, if the cutting, I mean, you are asked to find out the inclination of the cutting plane to HP. Okay, if the cutting plane is like this, inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP, the cut surface is not going to be visible in the elevation. I repeat, if the cutting plane is like this, inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP, the cut surface is not visible in the elevation, cut surface will be visible in the plan. Here, there are two conditions to be noticed, to be noted. One is, cutting plane is inclined to HP, definite, because you are asked to find out the inclination of the cutting plane to HP. So, the cutting plane is inclined to HP. The front view cut surface in the front view is an equilateral triangle. It is not a true shape. True shape and the, it is not the true shape. The sectional elevation of the cut surface is an equilateral triangle. That means the cutting plane is to be inclined to HP as well as VP. Agreed? Okay. After drawing, after seeing the solution, you can think in the reverse direction to find out why this is the correct solution. I repeat, I will draw the solution. After seeing the solution, you will get convinced that it satisfies the requirement. After getting any solution, you have to think back and find out whether the required conditions are satisfied. In this problem, after seeing the drawing, you can think back and find out, check whether the requirements are completed, fulfilled. Then you will think and find out why this is the correct solution, why something else is not the correct solution. Why this is the solution, why something else is not the correct solution or why this is a solution and there is no other solution, you will find out. After seeing the solution, you can think back in the reverse manner and find out why this is the correct solution. Okay, listen carefully, I am going to draw. I am drawing the plan and elevation of the prism I am drawing the plan and elevation of the prism mm side and say any distance any any axis length say 60 mm axis length agreed 40 mm side and 60 mm axis length suppose a b c d e f a dash b dash c dash e dash f dash g dash a b c oh d b sorry sorry D dash, E dash, F dash, O dash, P dash, axis OP. 
I am also drawing I am also drawing an individual You may not be able to see my drawing because of the obstruction created by my body but you know this procedure of drawing the individual. How do you mark A double dash B double dash C double dash O double dash D double dash E double dash F double dash P double dash plan elevation and end view of plan elevation and end view of what the triangular prism now now I am going to draw the equilateral triangle visible in the elevation this is, I mark the dimensions for clarity, 40, 60. The height can be any, any height, any reasonable height, I assumed 60. Now, What is this? This is an equilateral triangle of side 40. Once this is 40, I make this 40, this 40. I call this 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. That's the section elevation. So where is the plan? 1, 2, 3. Now, where is the cutting plane? Connect this. Agree? One double dash. 2 double dash, 3 double dash. That's the cutting plane. You are asked to find out, you are asked to find out this angle. Theta equals so and so. Theta is the inclination of the cutting plane to HP. This is actually an end view. No? You can, the cutting plane is visible in the end view. Cutting plane is visible in the end view. You can measure and you can give that as answer. So, the cutting plane we will draw at the end. The shape, is, this shape is given, therefore you draw this first, draw this second and then reproduce the, reproduce the cut, uh, uh, cutting plane in the end view. You can draw this, you can draw this uh, equilateral triangle, then draw the cutting plane, then you can uh, draw 1, 2, 3. That is not necessary, you can directly draw 1, 2, 3 from the, from the, oh, I have made a mistake, sorry, 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 sorry. This line is not visible. In the first elevation, I made a mistake. In the first elevation, this is dotted line. I made a mistake. Okay. So, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 1, 2, 3, 1 double dash, 2 double dash, 3 double dash. So, what I said is the cutting line can be drawn and 1 double dash, 2 double dash, and 3 double dash can be marked. Then, from that, you can come to 1, 2, 3. Or you can come uh, get 1, 2, 3 and then go to 1 double dash, 2 double dash and 3 double dash. However, cutting plane is drawn from projecting from this. Cutting plane is drawn by projecting this and projecting this. There is no other way to draw the cutting plane. You cannot draw the cutting plane from the plant. You have to project it and draw the cutting plane. Now, interestingly, 
you are not asked to draw the true shape the question doesn't ask you to draw the true shape suppose you are asked to draw the true shape let us see how the true shape is drawn we will draw an x1 y1 parallel to the cutting plane this is the cutting plane so the x1 y1 will be drawn parallel to the cutting plane here x1 y1 parallel to the cutting plane. then draw projectors perpendicular to the cutting plane agree draw projectors perpendicular to the cutting plane then this is your x2 y2 y2 or you can make this x1 y this is x y this is x1 y1 and this you can mark as x2 y2 no problem now take the distance of 3 from this x1 y1 this is when you are drawing the cutting plane here and drawing the true shape here you will take the distance of each point to the plan but in this case, since the cutting plane is visible in the end view, you have to take the distance of each point in the plan from this x1 by 1. Okay. 3 is this much away on the projector through 3 dash. Take the distance. How much is the distance? This much away is 3 from x1 by 1. Take the distance and mark. You will get here 3, 1. 2 is this much away. 2, 1. 1 is this much away, this much away, 1, 1, connect them, and hatch, this is called the true shape, what are the points 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, what is the distance, this distance is equal to this distance, this distance is equal to this distance. I hope you understood. I hope you understood. Now, this is a slightly difficult question. The statement of the question is not very, very clear. They didn't ask about the true shape. And instead of saying, instead of saying, the section in front view is an equilateral triangle instead of saying the section in front view is an equilateral triangle they could have added few more words and specified it so that the students do not get any confusion the sectional front view is an equilateral triangle also could have been better statement okay a good question must be very clear sometimes it may be easy sometimes it may be difficult but a good question is one which convey everything in the question without causing any doubt in the mind of the student but this is not a question which you can categorize as a good question this can even confuse teachers agreed i hope it is clear if you are happy with the presentation please subscribe my channel share the link like my videos and help me to promote this okay thank you